In this lesson, we're going to be learning how to double haul using a different technique. It's the one, two, three, four, a simple timing technique which teaches us very quickly how to double haul. All we're going to do, here's our hauling hand and here's our casting hand. There's our back cast, there's our forward cast. Move the rod tip back into our back cast and just haul with our hauling hand like this. And that is one. Simple as that. Now we're going to add another movement to it. There's one. And before the line falls on the ground, we're going to move our hauling hand up the rod here. We're going to follow that line, shooting out in the back cast up there. And that's number two. Put it together. One, two. And now we're going to add the number three. Here we are in the back cast. Our hauling hand's where we want it, right up here. We followed it up to us near the stripping guide. Our casting hand and hauling hand are together. And now all we're going to do is backslash, 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 forward slash. And that creates the number three. Three. Okay, we'll put those together now. One, two, three. And you've guessed it, number four is just following the fly line up to the next stripping guide on the forward cast. Let me show you. One, two, three, four. The double haul in four steps. It's as simple as that. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Absolutely wonderful. Really, really simple. Well, <laughs> it is simple when you've got the building blocks of technique, when you've got good loop control without any holes like this. It's not simple if you can't do this. If you can't make false casts without any holes, because hauling done well is a casting aid. Hauling done badly covers up existing faults. And then all it'll do is magnify those faults. What do I mean? Let's say I actually hit the energy on the forward cast or the back cast too hard to begin with. Well, a haul is only going to magnify that. Why? Because hauling actually pulls the line against the rod even more so than your hand does like that. And what it does is it creates more load with the rod. It bends it further. And if you've got an aggressive forward cast like this, all the hole's going to do is magnify that. So the hole is only good if you've got good technique already. Don't run before you can walk double hole.